Good, e- good evening, everyone. Curry College Chief for the Forecast, Joe Shaka here. I'm looking at what's going to become, I think, Tropical Storm Kate. I know Kate's very excited, aren't you? Huh? You're very excited, aren't you? With who? With Kate, all right. Tropical Storm Kate's going to develop probably uh, next uh, three or four days in the Western Gulf. Uh, uh, here's the GFS. You can see it there. Uh, we head out to uh, Sunday afternoon, uh, 1,004 millibar low coming up into a Brownsville. Uh, then it goes towards Houston and then goes inland from there. And I think this is going to become a very interesting thing and an interesting feature in a play because I think we're going to have a big storm on the East Coast next week. Uh, you can see how it gets pulled up and then phases it, Kate. We're going to triple, we're going to double phase it, my friend, with the northern branch coming down. And this is going to mean, I think, some big severe weather, a big flood threat, Ohio Valley. Then this shifts east. And I wouldn't be surprised if uh, we get a strong wind gust along uh, the east coast next week. It's not the storms going off the east coast. It's the storm going up into southeast Canada, which means temperatures probably going to the 70s again for the parts of the east coast and northeast. With the strong south wind and then that heads out and then another cold truck comes behind. Then the GFS later on tries to develop Larry. But I definitely think we're going to get Kate next week. And then we're probably going to get Larry of some kind. Something else may try to pop in the Gulf. But at least Kate and then again Larry. And an overall genesis that I think the pattern is going to become a little bit more active. We're going to get some more rain. A busier, a busier storm track should evolve over the next 7 to 10 days is being suggested. By most of the global models at the time. We'll take a look at the NAM. I believe the 18Z NAM is also relatively consistent in its previous runs with developing uh, Kate in the uh, Western Gulf. Certainly the pattern is favorable for this to be- uh, develop. As there's a tropical cyclone in the west, in the eastern Pacific, which some of the energy will be crossing over. Which will help lead to the development of Kate. You can see Kate there, uh, 6Z Monday morning, 1,008 millibar low coming up into uh, Houston, Texas. So if you're on the eastern Texas coast... And Louisiana coast, uh, central and western Louisiana coast, uh, early next week, late this weekend. I will be watching this very closely as this can really ramp up in a very big hurry, uh, seeing how the upper atmosphere seems to be playing out. But uh, again, Tropical Storm Kate, our 11th storm of the 2015 hurricane season. Thank you for watching.